expect to move from you. Listen to that. See your face on board. Your will will want to. you say yes, that he's going to start with responding with a yes tonight. He's going to respond with an amen tonight. He's going to respond with the it is so tonight. Beyond what we can think, beyond what we can everything like everybody else, God can still use you. You know, being a third person, if you're willing to be used. Come on, somebody. I said, if you're willing to be used, God can use you. Bless the name of Jesus. I'm going to give you four signs. That we should pay attention to. Watch your seat, Lord. At the end of the day, that will let you know when God is calling you. Para que sepa que el Señor la está llamando. You might want to write your four signs. Number one, that He will get your attention one way or another. Él va a tener su su atención. I said, when God is calling you, He'll get your attention one way or another. Él quiere su atención. Él la va a tener su atención. He will interrupt. to get your attention. Wow. Number two, go. he will repeat himself. And he said, hey, this is how you're going to know God is called. He will repeat himself. Oh. Él va, él va repetir siempre. You know, and sometimes we take that lightly. God speak a word to us. Uh. And then you, you, you can be in the supermarket or you can be in a, you have a church and you know, mind your business somewhere and then God is someone who serves us to come to you and speak that word again. And you like, mm. And then we're on vacation in a whole month. 
Mother's State to find my cashier in local estado. And this was one of God's favorites. Thought I was in a point in the They're speaking that same word again. And he's like, for the mercy. He loved me so much, he said, I, I'm going to keep tapping you on the shoulder. I'm going to keep sending my servants. Word. I want you to know that I'm calling you. So he did. Jesus. Yeah, he said, repite. El siempre. Number three. He dice, lo he will assure you of his presence. Mm -hmm. Yes, he will. Mm -hmm. Thank you. you. You know the presence of God. You know, like, you know when God's presence is there, and sometimes you just break down and weep and cry. You don't know why you cry. Like, oh, what's wrong? Oh, what's going on? Oh, what's going on? Oh, what's going on? The presence of God. He will give you the first step. Le da el primero paso. He will give you the first step. Le da el primer paso. In other words, he'll put you in position. Yes, Le va a poner en position. Come on here. He'll put you in position. Yes. Le va a poner en position. Somebody say, places, please. Places, please. <laughs> he'll put you in position. So these are the four signs that you will have to pay attention. Please look at your neighbor. Por favor, mire Come on, look at somebody next to you. I'm serious about this. Somebody needs to understand that it's time to take your place. Yes. 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 I said it's time. Yes. 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 Somebody give God a praise up in here. It's from 
together. We don't you know, sometimes we want to do our own thing and we put God in it. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. But God is serious about your destiny. He's serious about your purpose. He's serious about your call. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Therefore, when he's calling you and he wants to position you and he wants you to take your place, you better recognize that you have to stay in alignment with his word. Anything that's outside of his word is not in line with his God. So know this, oh glory to your name, Jesus, that in order for you to take your place, in order for you to take your position, and in order for you to answer the call of God on your life, tell somebody, line up, line up, line up with the word. Anytime somebody or anything that will take you outside of God's word, that will take you out of what God has already spoken, that will take you out of what God has already established, oh bless the name of Jesus, know that it is not from God. Somebody need to give God a praise in this place. You know that I am Your place. Your family's coming. 
coming in because you're about to step in position. Oh, glory to God. Your children coming in because you're about to take your place. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Please high five somebody and say it's time to take your place. Hey, glory to God. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Know, hallelujah, that when it's time for you to take your place, es, es que coja su the adversary has to come. He has to come. Tiene que venir. I said he has to come. Tiene que venir. <laughs> so know that when God asks you to do something, Cuando el Señor le pide que haga algo, uh -huh. But he has not revealed how he wants you to do it. Pero él no le ha dicho cómo él quiere que usted lo haga. This is just a sign. Esto es solamente un that God wants you to trust him. Que él quiere que usted confíe en él. It's a sign that God wants you to trust him. Sí. So you can step out on faith. Hallelujah. I don't understand everything. I, I know I feel that God is doing something. He didn't reveal the whole plan to me yet. It's, it's heavy in my spirit. God said, trust me. Step out on faith. Trust me. Pon en posición en fe. Sal en posición en fe. God doesn't always call us. Él no siempre nos llama. To obedience only when it is convenient Para for us. Para obediencia solamente cuando es conveniente. Come on, somebody. Yes. Yes. See, see, we, we, we the kind of people, we want convenience. Uh -huh. You know, if it's convenient for me, then I'll do it. If it benefits me, then yes. I'll do it. If it's convenient for me, then I'll go. God said, no, baby, you won't go because yes, I said you're right. wrong. Hallelujah. God yes. said, no, you, you, you won't go and just obey me because I said it. Tiene que ir y obedecerme porque yo dije. Somebody give God a praise for obedience. Amen. See, a lot of times obedience, a lot of people don't like that word probably. They sure don't. Uh, uh, oh, obedience. I love to be obedient. Obedience. We want to be obedient when it's convenient. Yes, and everything is clear. Ooh. And God made everything plain. Lord, you know, God just laid it out and left it all out for me. I ain't got to figure nothing out. Nothing. God said, well, where's your faith if I, if I, if I told faith? you everything? Ooh. And how you going to trust me? Where's your faith in yes. me? Go ahead, mm. I want you to have faith and trust me Amen. and stand up just because I said it. Amen. That's right. Come on and give God a praise. Ooh. Because he said it, I'm going to do it. Hey, glory to God. Bless the name of Jesus because he said it. Please tell somebody it's time to take your place. Time to take your place. Oh, uh-huh. And, and sometimes we don't want to take our place because we're fearful. Somebody shout no fear. No fear. No fear. No fear. No fear. No fear. No more fear. Anytime we fear, Anytime we fear something other than God, we have a problem. Because God is asking us to have faith in Him. Not to walk in fear. No miedo. No terror. We can fear God in, in, in terms of reverencing him. I, I got a fear for God, meaning I, I fear him because I reverence him. That fear is fine. But God doesn't want us to have the spirit of fear. He said, but God has not given us the spirit of fear. And but a power, love, and a sound mind. And God says in his word that perfect love casts out fear. So if you're loving God, you're not walking in fear. Hey, bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So don't be fearful as to where God wants to take. Just, just step out on faith. Tell somebody just step out on faith. Solamente sal en fe. Just step out on faith. Because there's some there's a place that God has for you. I you see that you must step into. You have to take your place. Lives are depending on you. The Lord depends on you. Ministries are depending on you. Yes. Hey, 
dependent. Lost souls are depending on you, waiting for you to take your place. Glory to God. Bless the name of Jesus. So you never know when God is calling you to that next place, that next level. Come on, somebody. Or that next realm that he's calling you to. But one thing for sure, if you feel like being like you're being stretched, that's an indication. You've got to get you ready to take your place. Amen. Come on and give God a praise. Come on and give God a praise for the stretching. Come on, it don't feel good, but it's all good. I, I don't feel good when I'm being stretched. It doesn't feel nice when I'm being tested. It doesn't feel nice when I'm being tried. But tell somebody it's for your good. It's for your good. God, God is making you. He's doing something. Hallelujah. He, he's causing you to step into your place. So somebody get ready to take your place. Come on and give God another praise up in here. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And, and, and some of you were tested like never before. Mm, come on. Some of you were tested like never before. Tell somebody God allowed it. Hey! Everything that God allowed is working for your good. Amen. That's right. Come on, give God a praise. Because it's working for your good. It's for your better. Hallelujah. It's for your next place. It's for your next dimension. It's for your next level in the kingdom of God. Tell somebody, places please. Places please. I need you to take your place. I need you to get in position. Oh, glory to God. Bless the name of Jesus so God can finish the work that he started in you. So it may not feel good, but it's good. It's necessary. Tell somebody, it's necessary. It's a must. Because in your next place, God is going to have you produce. Hey, on another level. And then Oh my God. And no va a dejar que nosotros produce. He's going to have you produce on another level. Hey, glory to God. I, I know you were doing fine right here, but God said I need you to produce on another level. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. I know you were comfortable here in this place, but I need you to produce on another level. Somebody give God a praise for your next level. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. It's time to take your place. Ask somebody, are you ready? Are you ready to take your place? Yes, 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 yes. I said, are you ready to take your place? Glory to God. There are many testimonies in the scripture concerning people taking their place in the kingdom. They may have to go through some things. They had to be tried. They had to be tested. Oh, glory to God. But guess what? They took their place. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Jo jo Joshua had to take his place. Amen. Hallelujah. God called him, amen, to lead the people into the promised land. Come on, somebody. Hey, is there any Joshua's in the house? Come on. Is there any Joshua's? Glory to God. Bless the name of Jesus. You might be the next Joshua leading somebody. Hallelujah. Into their destiny. Into their purpose. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Please shout, it's time to take your place. Come out of your comfort zone. Amen, somebody. Come out of your comfort zone. Come out of what you're familiar with. What you're used to. Amen. The stretching doesn't feel good. The test doesn't feel good. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Sometimes you feel like you're, you're all alone, that, that God had abandoned you. God didn't abandon you. Glory to God. He's preparing you and getting you ready to take your place. Come on and give God a praise. Put your next place in the kingdom. I said, give God a praise for your next place. Pastor, come somebody. Give God a praise for your next place. Prophet, prophet, give God a praise for your next place. Apostle, give God a praise for your next place. Minister, 
Forget about the naysayers. So what is God saying? Oh, glory to God. What is God saying? God is saying, take your place. Es lo que el Señor dice que es importante, coja su posición. God says, that's you, and you're ready to take your place in the kingdom. In spite of your past, in spite of your setbacks, in spite of people, in spite of what they did to you, in spite of what they said about you, I know they said you ain't going to be nothing. I know they say you ain't going to make nothing out of your life. I know they didn't believe in you, but God believes in you. And he wants you to take your place. Yes, Lord. Bye, bye, bye. 